Before I begin today's video, if you're looking to read some conservative news from a trusted and reliable source, check out my friends over at PatriotPost.us. A link for them is in the box, and they're currently offering a free subscription. So when you go over there and subscribe, tell them that ABL sent you. How's everybody doing? My name is Anthony Brian Logan, and today we got to talk about Denver, Colorado, decriminalizing what you may know as magic mushrooms or just shrooms. These are mushrooms that have the main active ingredient of psilocybin. It gives the users a psychedelic experience. You're able to see really weird and crazy things. Some have said it's changed their life for the better. Some say for the worse. But for now, I digress. The whole point is that this drug has now become decriminalized in Colorado. A key word here is decriminalized, not legalized. It's a whole different ball of wax. The drug is still illegal to possess and distribute. However, decriminalizing it makes it to where it's like the lowest priority of police to go after. So if you get caught with it, it's like not really treated that seriously. If you have a little bit on you, it might be a pass. It's not legal, but at the same time, it's not totally illegal. It's kind of like in this weird little space. Now, some say this is great because you should be able to ingest psilocybin if you want to or any drug. You should have all drugs not only become decriminalized, but become legalized. Some say that the weed becoming decriminalized first, then totally legalized recreational use has given the big boost to Denver and the state of Colorado. And people also talk about Portugal uh, legalizing the drugs or whatever the case may be and seeing how that's a success story. But I'm here today to tell you that I am against decriminalizing drugs, legalizing drugs. I say we have way too many drugs in society right now, especially the legal drugs. And that's what's causing the opioid crisis. Let me back up a little bit here to explain what I'm getting at. I knew that this would happen as far as more drugs becoming in a little in a taboo area. You understand? Marijuana was in a taboo area for a long time. Is it legal? Is it illegal? Is it a big deal? Not really a big deal. It was kind of ambiguous. Yes, it was mostly illegal. But at the same time, a lot of police didn't really trip. I mean, you can go across the country and see guys with joints in their car. When they get pulled over, the police see it and give them a pass. Don't even write him a ticket for speeding or whatever the infraction was. They just let him go because that's like a low level priority. Once you remove weed from that taboo area, that, that kind of, you know, middle ground between legal and illegal, you make it all the way legal. Now it's going to be another drug to come and take its place. And here we are today with shrooms. I thought it would be methamphetamine first, but shrooms. OK, it kind of makes sense. It's psychedelic. It gives you therapy for depression. Is that in the third? I knew that'd be the explanation as well. It has therapeutic benefits. It helped me change my life. A lot of testimony would be had as it relates to that. Now, this measure didn't really pass with flying colors. It was like 50.6% of the vote went towards this particular measure to make shrooms not legal, but decriminalized in Denver. A lot of people in Denver don't like what we did. People say that it's caused them more harm than good. They talk about a tax revenue, all this, that, and the third people not really going to jail. But who was really going to jail for weed possession before that? Like, who really goes to jail for just having the joint in their car? Not really that many people. But even if they did, and that's now cut out, now you got all kind of dope fiends coming to your particular place. Yes, I said dope fiends. People that really want to argue for drugs, in my humble opinion, like to use drugs. It is what it is. Don't shoot me. I'm the messenger. I'm just calling it how I see it. When you have an area that is awash in drugs and awash in the kind of people that use drugs, you're going to have issues. All right. Whether it be weed, shrooms, heroin, it's all kind of the same when you're talking about habitual drug users. I'm not saying that weed is the equivalent to heroin or whatever. But the kind of people you see that are in those circles of heavy drug users are pretty much all the same. They got physical problems, mental problems. People say that all drugs should be legal. 
I'm tripping. I'm just being an old guy, approved, whatever the case may be. They say, look at Portugal. It's a success story. They legalize all their drugs. They reduce their incarceration rate and the dependence on drugs. First of all, Portugal is a very small country. I think it has like 8 million people. That's less than L.A. County. That's less than New York City and probably the Chicagoland area as well. Individually, not combined, individually. L.A. County has about 10 million people. This, this the one part of California, not even the whole state. Portugal does not have legalized drugs. They have decriminalized drugs for personal use and possession. But if you are a dope boy in Portugal, you're still going to go to jail. If you get caught with cocaine, heroin, or whatever, and baggies ready to sell, you're going to jail. Drug dealing is illegal. You can't sell drugs on the street legally, nor can you go to your local corner store and just buy drugs. All right. We can buy alcohol and tobacco here in the States, but you can't buy your cocaine and heroin. It's the same thing over there in Portugal. Furthermore, they just raided, when I say they, I mean the Portuguese government and the Spanish government together. They just raided a vessel off the coast of Portugal with cocaine in it. So it's not legal to sell drugs, to import drugs to Portugal, Spain, or wherever else. It's just not legal. So this whole argument of Portugal is not really well thought out. Also, if you get caught with drugs over there, they recommend you to a treatment program. So it's not a free ride. But back to the states, the problem in the states we have them right now is the opioid crisis that has been caused by all the legal drugs we have. Did you know that 80 percent of the world's painkillers are used in the United States? 80 percent of the world's painkillers. We only have about 5 percent of the world's population. Less than that, probably about 4.4 percent of the world's population lives in the USA. But we have 80 percent of the world's painkillers. We have drug commercials on television. That does not happen anywhere else in the world, really, except for here. Definitely not in Europe. We have too many drugs in our society that comes from legal sources, big pharma, your doctor, whatever the case may be. That is the problem. The opioid crisis is being caused by big pharma. You got doctors getting indicted. I saw 100 people get locked up for like operating a pill mill or something to the equivalent right here in the United States. It might have been in Kentucky, Tennessee, somewhere like that. If I could find that article, I'll place that in the box also on the screen. But that's the issue. The issue is legal drugs. Some people say, oh, if you legalize all drugs, you're going to be able to impact the opioid crisis in a positive way. How? The legal drugs are the problem. Now, some would say the legal drugs are being sold illegally. It's really irrelevant. A lot of times the addiction starts with a legal prescription. Uh, Jim Bob's back got hurt in a construction accident. The doctor says, hey, take these Vicodin, take these Xanax, take this, whatever, whatever. Now, Jim Bob's back is healed, but he has become worse because now he's a dope fiend because he's hooked on the pills. He can't get off of them or he's going to get sick. Then that devolves into, okay, if I can't find any of those pills I was getting from the doctor, I'm going to go to this unscrupulous source and get them that way. And then that becomes expensive to get pills all the time with the same pills you had before. So to get that same kind of feeling, your dealer says, hey, this heroin does the trick. So now you are banging needles. Then when you want to get a higher high, here comes fentanyl, which is also a legal drug. OK, so I don't want to hear this whole argument about legal drugs solving the opioid crisis or being a panacea to the problems. It's not going to do it. The issues is that we have too many drugs on the market and we're becoming more and more of a drug infested place. People want to say Portugal as a success story. Why not look to the United States to see what's happening right here where you have de facto drug decriminalization? San Francisco, doo doo everywhere, needles everywhere. It's a mess. Is that where you want to live? Is that the kind of environment you want to have when you're trying to go to the subway? And you got guys all up and down the platform sitting on the ground, shooting needles in the in between the knuckles and their toes and all that kind of stuff. It's all kind of things that are out there for these people. They have clean injection sites, needle exchanges. There's all kind of money given to them. There's all kind of food, clothing, shelter available. But yet they're still out here doing this. So when you say you want to have drugs legalized or decriminalized, 
you might want to rethink that because it might be you that has to live next to these people. Do you want to live next to the dope house? And what I mean by dope house is a place where people go to get high. Do you want to live there? Do you want to live in a drug infested environment? I don't. Maybe you do. If you want to do that, then a the left coast is there for you, but don't bring that here. And I think I'm pretty much done with that whole situation. What say you? Do you think that drug legalization or decriminalization is a good thing? Uh, if that's your point of view, please explain to me why in the comments below. You know where I stand. I'm totally against drug legalization, decriminalization. We got a problem with too many drugs in society right now. Way too many legal drugs. That's a problem, not illegal drugs. I want to stress that point. People want to say that just making the illegal drugs legal will make a difference. Most of the deaths are coming from the legal drugs. The opioid derivatives, that's legal stuff. You don't want that anywhere near you, or at least you shouldn't. I know I don't, but if you do, that is your business. But whatever your comments are, please let me know in the comments below. And that's all I got to say for this video. If you like what you heard, please comment, rate, share, and subscribe. Peace.